All right, nice vibes, nice vibes. Thanks for that, Mr. Ra Ra. Anyway, so um, I just want to give the people a little background. So I actually reached out to Kamar. I've kind of been watching you and you know a few of the same people I do. But I've been, you know, noticing. I was just like, okay, I was kind of waiting to see when the right time would be to invite you. So, you know, I reached out and um, on the DM. <laughs> Lies in the DM. I, I, I reached out on the DM on a positive note. <laughs> okay, and uh, you know, so I extended the invite. So, um, you know, I see you doing a lot of things and what have you. So let's let let the people know where are you from exactly. I was born in Jamaica. Is this microphone working? Okay? Right. Yeah, I was born in Jamaica um, and then migrated here to the U.S. where I spent most of my time in New York. So I'm a New Yorker Okay. that now reside in Connecticut. Connecticut? Why Connecticut? I don't even, even know Jamaicans live in Connecticut. <laughs> most, <laughs> most, know, most, like... most of the Caribbean people go to Brooklyn or um, I don't know where in Queens they migrate to. No, they 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 in Queens. They, oh, well, they, I didn't migrate South directly. No, to, I know. I'm to, just, I'm just. Uh, yeah, but um, I reside now in Stamford, Connecticut. Okay. Stanford, so why why Connecticut? There. I mean, it's a more quiet environment. I mean, you know, more reserved. Okay. You know, out of the. Stay away from all the, you know. No, I, I, I dip into it sometimes mm. and then I come back out and. You know so you like, you like your calm. So you like to yeah. visit the chaos and then go back to the calm. Yeah. I get it. That type of vibe. Makes sense, makes sense. So how long have you been doing music? Um, I would say two years. Two years, okay. Two years, um, yeah, two years. And then what made you actually get into it? I mean, I've always have musical influence around me. Um, my father was um, a big um, music lover. I mean, from cars, um, competitions, um, to having a large musical collection. So that type of vibe, you know, I always grew up listening to music, different type of music, at mm -hmm. least, you know? And then I then went to high school where I had um, friends that was always into music, Carcel, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, been around it from God knows when, um, so, you know. Oh, so you guys know each other for a long time? Yeah, it's not just today. Okay. It's, um, I mean, I didn't know, but I just know that we came up, you know, we've kind of, you know, yeah, crossed so paths before, but, you know. In high school, um, you know, in Carcel and, of course, you guys know Christopher Martin, you know, mm -hmm. kind of link up and we just grew together. Um, so Carcel kept on saying to me, like a few years ago, you know, he was like, Yo, you need to be an artist, you know. You, know, you always have something to say, and you know, you always have lyrics, and so that's where the influence really came from, you know what I mean? So, yeah. So, speaking of lyrics, um, oh gosh, I listened to that song and I really like the message. So, it's, it's very catchy, and it sounds like a lot of people sometimes they don't really listen to the words, yeah. To the music. I listened to the words, and can you kind of tell me, like, how did that come about? Because I kind of have an idea, but I want you to let the people know. I mean, um, honestly, we live in a day and age now where everything is based on social, like social networks. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people get caught up in somebody else's life and not theirs. Yeah. So <laughs> in so many different formats, but I mean... For me, it's kind of okay for the girl, you know, you, you do whatever you want to get by, whatever, it's fine. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm, I don't know about all that, okay. <laughs> you get whatever for the girls? Yeah, for the girls, them, you know, them, them don't might like admit it, but yeah. I wish I was, no, I don't wish I was that type, but I'm not that type, okay, good. All right, exactly. <laughs> and if you was, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't admit it. No, if if I was, I would probably own it because okay. right, I'm not I'm not that. Yeah, good. but then you have meals that tend to not have that work ethic to get what you want on your own for yourself. Mm -hmm. That type of vibe, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you see Tom and the theme thing, and you say, boy, you know, see Tom thing look like it's a go on. So they gonna try get on Tom level. You get what I'm saying? That type yeah. of vibe. So mm -hmm. they they go they go about it in a 
any means way. Yeah, there's a lot of that. I, I totally understand because yeah. there's a lot of that out here. So that's where the whole idea came from. Work for your things. You know what I mean? Yes, and that's a, that's another good line from the song. So since we're talking about it, why don't you introduce? I, I want the people. We don't play twice. I think we should play twice because I think the people really need to listen to what he is saying. And the music is really. Who, who does your producing? Like you. Um, this was produced was produced by Chuck Star. Chuck Star. Yeah. Okay. Well, shout out to you. Shout the, out to Chuck Star, definitely. Track. Okay, so go ahead and introduce your song to the people. Okay. Everybody, this is a song that's creating the buzz. The song that has everybody saying, oh gosh. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is my song. Me is a boy, I'm a text, sleep, my debts. Me know hard life, so me now go forget. Mm hmm. Oh gosh, man. Oh gosh. Boy, I'm a text, sleep, my debts. Me know hard life, so me now go forget. Mm hmm.